With Ambulance, Michael Bay has directed possibly the most Michael Bay film of all time. It borrows a lot from the likes of Speed and the Grand Theft Auto games, with frenzied editing that makes scenes whiz by faster than a getaway ambulance. There's nothing subtle or understated here. Ambulance is a bold movie from a director renowned for his over-the-top antics, and boy, Bay does not disappoint here. Officers down in front of the bank, automatic weapons being fired. Easy, 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 easy. You wanna drive or can I drive? Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II play Danny and Will, who are crooks pulling one last big bank job, the one to top them all. But while Danny is keen to follow in his criminal father's footsteps, Will is a more reluctant bank robber, dragged kicking and screaming into his brother's scheme. The heist scenes are a bit rough around the edges, but that's kind of the point. It all goes sideways very quickly, leaving Danny and Will hot-footing it out of there with bags stuffed full of cash and assault rifles at the ready. If only they could find a way out. Enter the ambulance, home to notorious EMT Cam Thompson, played by Isa Gonzalez. She's essentially a caricature of a grizzled veteran healthcare worker, but Gonzalez manages to wrestle with the stereotype to pull out an impressive performance. Of course, the real star of the show is Gyllenhaal, who spends 136 minutes chewing the scenery so hard, he'll need a new set of dentures by the end of it. I am giving you the world! Expect crazed monologues, hyped up displays of aggression, and bucket loads of those trademark Gyllenhaal crazed expressions. Abdul Mateen brings a more measured performance as the humble US veteran who just happens to be related to a serial bank robber. Although he's underutilized at first, Abdul Mateen really comes into his own by the third act, building a solid rapport with Gyllenhaal that eventually bursts out of the screen. Cam gets plenty of opportunity to shine too, although the high-speed hijinks of a bank robbery gone wrong provide most of the action. It's punctuated by excruciating medical scenes which see Cam go beyond the call of duty, positioning her as the trustworthy face of a brutal healthcare system shows us the humanity and sacrifice of the noble EMT, highlighting the bravery of the ordinary nurse or hospital porter. That being said, it's not particularly realistic, and Cam isn't really complex, neither are Danny and Will. But there's joy to be found in the simple plot. Executed amid a hail of gunfire in the back of a speeding ambulance with Bay's signature explosions wreaking havoc around them. It's an audacious film in more ways than one. Only Bay can get away with directly referencing his own movies throughout the film's already cheesy dialogue. The tongue-in-cheek nature of a cop talking about bad boys is more than a little reminiscent of Hot Fuzz. Ambulance is a high-octane delight for anyone who loves the complete and utter mayhem of an over-the-top action thriller. It's not particularly clever or original, but it's perfect popcorn fodder with a healthy dose of explosions, chase scenes, and that signature fast-cutting, frenzied style that made Bay a household name. Don't expect too much, and Ambulance will give you a healthy shot of adrenaline long before you risk flatlining. Go, uh, 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 uh. Let's go, D. You are all gonna have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! Ambulance is a big, loud action flick that stomps its way through downtown Los Angeles and leaves you wondering what the hell you just witnessed. It's dog day afternoon meets speed, with all the explosions and car chases you should expect from a Michael Bay movie. Subtlety is off the table when it comes to Jake Gyllenhaal's performance, who clearly has a blast with his over-the-top scene chewing, while Yahya Abdul-Mateen II adds a touch of heart to it all. Ambulance is crazy, dumb fun, with a plot that often makes no sense whatsoever. But does it really have to? Not if you're Michael Bay. For more reviews, check out what we thought of The Lost City and everything, everywhere, all at once. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Thank you.